Mike Peden of Prep 45 here with Amory Healy of Providence Academy, member of the 2A state champion, Lions, congratulations on your accomplishment. Thank you, thank you very much. I just want to say thank you to my team and my coach. Um, we've worked really, really hard for this and just like all the girls are just so great. And um, our motto this year was all in. And so it's just great to um, all go in 100%. So ever since last year, we've been trying for this and it's finally, it's just great to finally be here. And just, just thank you to all the girls. We have just worked so hard. And just thank you to Ray, Kurt, Jamie and Kelly just for all their um, um, support and all of their um, commitment to the team so thank you yeah this is a great great last time we talked to you you came out with a big win over Richfield and yes. had a lot of uh, quality opponents this season how do you think that helped you prepare for a rematch against Sox Center a team that beat you on a buzzer beater in the third place match a year ago yep well um, they are a great team I think uh, anyone who watched this game this was this was not an easy win I think that um, we all went out there and played as hard as we could and um, they are a great team uh, Kylie Peschel is great great player she uh, they're very very respectable and we're just we're really really proud to have played such a great team in the state championship and congratulations to them and talk about that a bit because Providence, they play a, a deliberate style. They play a lot of time-consuming possessions. Sox Center goes up, and that doesn't suit Providence's style too much. So how did you keep yourself focused uh, after going down by seven, and it looked like the Lions were going to uh, ward off the pass? Yes, we definitely play a very calm, calm, slow, and we like to um, work the, um, the defense and kind of take what they give us. And so pretty much like... You know, in in the first half, they weren't really giving us very much, and it was it was a battle out there. And so, um, really, we just like to take what they um, what they give us. And so, they um, they had a girl cover me pretty hard, and so um, Katie was open down on the block. And so, we just try to look for um, and play patient and just uh, you know just take what they give us. And what but they were a good team, and so they didn't give us much. Sorry about that. What does it mean to be a member of a state championship team and help your coach become the first? head coach to win three state titles at three different schools. Um, it's definitely an honor and I know that Ray he um, he uh, he does it for his girls and so I think that like he's just very very selfless in what he does and so I think that um, you know he's not in it for himself like he wants to um, he has knowledge and he wants to share that with us and so it's just it's a really great thing um, you know just having him teach us and kind of um, teach us life skills and the and the game of basketball. And lastly, anyone you want to say hi to that might be watching or anything you want to say to those fans right yep. behind you? Thank you! <laughs> yep, yep. They were great. They came out to all. Everyone supported. Um, it was fun to see the whole school. And I just want to say hi to um, my mom, my dad, and my six younger siblings and all my aunt, aunt Lizzie and all my aunts and uncles that came out and my Uncle Drew who came out too. So, yeah, it's, it's a great. It's great. So just thank you to everyone who came out and all my teammates and coaches. Congratulations and uh, go ahead cut the net uh, unless you can until you can get to these reporters at least. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>